digital ID itself is about formalising the relationship between social media, the corporate landscape, our economic landscape and our education world of every citizen. So no longer do we have these separate spaces where you have a YouTube persona and then you go off to your office job like uh, we used to do a long time ago. Mm. So the government is not only consolidating an identification as it suggests, but they're also consolidating citizen data. Does that particularly make you uncomfortable that uh, it's almost like a, a new technical age where you no longer have any privacy from the other parts of your life, whereas before you could segment your life? You know, your sports club didn't know what your political views were, but that is no longer the case. No, I, I hate I hate the idea of the government having sort of a centralised point that has all of my data because as my, I said in my speech at the rally and, and Topher Field said this to me last week when I interviewed him on, on Kaleidoscope, I mean, you know, they, they, why should the government have any more of our data than they already have? They don't deserve it. They have not proven that they can be trusted to handle information about their citizens responsibly. I mean, look at all of the tracking that went on during COVID, for instance, you know, that they, 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 all of that data pool sort of still sits there. Um, I hate the idea of it. I hate it on principle. I hate it um, in practicality. It is very, very easy. Uh, you can imagine if you've got these data honeypots sitting there, how foreign powers, hostile powers like China or Russia might want to hack into that to learn about Australian citizens. It's a, it's a security risk. Um, I, can't, I can't stand the idea. And like I said, politicians... They don't deserve it. And who I know they tried to put safeguards in this bill, but, you know, what's what's to stop them selling this data to big corporations, for instance, who are trying to organise their marketing? It's, they, a, it's a terrible idea. Daisy, you're so right about the uh, honeypot problem of technology mm. because at the moment, I mean, I've had to have a lot of work of dealing with the government's databases and servers. The only reason North Korea has not stolen our data is because the current databases are so old mm. and so difficult for anybody to even access that they may as be filing cabinets buried in the Australian desert. That's why the North Koreans haven't got there yet. So that's what's keeping us safe, the absolute terrible state of them. 